Hi there, it's Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com, here with an exciting announcement. Uh, one of my favorite, favorite, favorite of all time YouTubers, Some of, one of the person that I am I am so glad that I was able to meet and collaborate with, has started writing articles for RogueDeckBuilder.com. It is, it is, you may know him as Edward from Tudor's Library. He runs a great YouTube channel, brews a, kind of the exact same thing that I do um, by brewing more of the... Uh, synergistic and, and rogue type strategies and I'm so excited that he has now decided to join the rogue deck builder fold and post his his videos on rogue deck builder so today you can come check out the, the the site and you'll see the modern chalice goblins which is just an awesome deck so if you just click on here he's got four videos of brief in introduction and some videos on here I think a full video series a deck tech deck tech gameplay and a wrap-up so yeah, so anywho, please, please, please go and support his channel. You can just go to roguedeckbuilder.com rogue and, and click on the videos and subscribe to his channel. Now, this is an exciting opportunity for other brewers. If you run a YouTube channel, if you write articles, if you just like the whole theme of, of rogue deck building, please shoot me an email and let's see if we can get you guys on the site as well. Now, right now, I have no way... In in the future, I do want this to be like a hub for everything, like Maverick or Rogue or 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 Johnny type um, brewing. But for now, I mean, there's no possible way that that Rogue Deck Builder can afford to compensate you for your time. But in the future, that's something that I want to do. You notice we have an ad running at the top of Rogue Deck Builder. That's our first way to try to compensate authors. Like all that money is going to go towards the authors for the site and the maintenance of the website. And we have some other ads here on, on the right column. And I know a lot of people particularly don't like advertising, but it's it literally is the only way for me to really incentivize people um, kind of writing for Rogue Deck Builder or, or putting their time in. Like, I really want to give back to people that, um, you know, that, that do put their their hard effort into something. So, like, Tudor's library is going to probably refuse anything. I mean, he's just that type of guy. He just loves to to build decks for building decks' sake. I'm trying to get Morton to start writing articles and start taping videos, but I think Morton, if uh, Morton, you can correct me on this, like, he's in the middle of his, his master's degree and is incredibly busy. So, uh, maybe I'll, I'll have to help him write some articles because he's got some sweet decks, some martyr proc decks, some scred decks, some got a scred green deck that he's working on. And yeah, so it's 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 another person I absolutely um, would love to have for the Rogue Deck Builder. So, anywho, if you're a writer, if you even other other topics to Magic the Gathering, I do want to get Rogue Deck Builder going. Now, huge shout out to Greg. We are starting to make the website look a lot better, and we've got some cool things coming up. I will be doing the Q and A uh, shortly here, uh, the fifteen thousand question answer. So let's let's get to twenty thousand. Uh, subscribers as quick as possible as well. I know I've, I've caused some controversy in the past couple days and had some very heated discussions. I mean, these are some issues that matter to me a lot and a lot of people misconstrued where I was coming from. So I'm going to lay off the uh, more social aspect. I might start another channel and just I'll have my own ideas. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm really, really interested in other hobbies as well. A lot of things that... that I, at one point, I did have a channel I was building, or a, a blog, I believe, called Potentially Kevin, and I, I was really obsessed with the word potentially, as it really just means, ha you know, having the potential to be, and then, then it, uh, my name, having the potential to be everything I wanted to be. And, you know, when, when I did have no no confidence, no self-esteem, and I actually did have to go to therapy after uh, after it, it was, there was a, a saying on my therapist wall that says, I am my own architect, so basically meaning that you're allowed to choose who you want to be. And I, in my whole journey, I, 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 you know, I came across a lot of Eastern philosophy and 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 just like, I, w I don't want to say self help because I can't stand the self help industry, but uh, positive psychology and and humanism and things like that that have really helped me. So I might start that other channel so that people that just want to stay pure to Magic the Gathering or might be offended by by my beliefs don't have to actually, you know, be exposed to them as much. So so I'll try to keep it more pure. And, and professional here on the uh, Rogue Deck Builder channel. But I am in 
incredibly excited out of Tudor's library. I'm telling you, the guy is, is better than me at brewing decks. He is amazing. He is the, the true Rogue Master Brewer. So speaking of which, we're going to have that Rogue Master Brewer up here on the site pretty soon. We'll have that top eight, and then we'll we'll put it back to voting for you. Another thing that I'm, I'm going to run past you guys real quick, this little 3x250 area or maybe even down below, I'm thinking of actually doing, I've been receiving so many emails saying, hey, can you brew around this card? Hey, can you brew around this card? Hey, can you brew around this card? Um, there is not enough time in the world for me to do that. To so, if I kind of ignore your guys's requests, I'm not trying to be a jerk. It's I really receive so. There's two things I receive a ton of emails about. One is, hey, can you check my deck list and try to make it better? Which I don't think I'm the best person for that. Like I'm a I'm I'm an idea generator. I'm a terrible person to actually uh, refine the deck. I'm kind of like Sam Black. Sam Black is known for brewing some more of the rogue type strategies in, on the professional level and then usually he hands off that deck to one of his peers and they really refine it and make it into the gym that it is that's how aristocrats actually uh won the pro tour is sam black created it and then in the hands of a uh, uh, tom martell he was able to pilot and refine it into a, a masterpiece that it was now i will look at your deck list and if i don't get back to you on every deck list again it's because i receive so many of those per week and I appreciate those I love seeing them and sometimes you only get a short little response from me and I, I, I wish I had more time just to sit there and answer every every question and 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 help you with your decks but I mean it's uh, someone suggested that maybe rogue for hire I don't know if you guys want to do that that is a good way to get my attention because you know you are <laughs> I, 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 it almost makes me feel like a prostitute though, in a way that the only way I'll look at your deck is if you pay me but that's I, I'm thinking about making it a series on Twitch like if people donate a certain amount of, of money I'll stop what I'm doing and play their deck and help them refine their deck or go with a card but for this particular idea uh, maybe we'll have a poll in the, the right hand column of, of roguedeckbuilder.com where you can submit you're a card that you want to be brewed around and the most votes for that week i will brew around that card so i'm going to get it with greg we're going to try to get that put up in the in, on the right hand side and again i appreciate all those emails i appreciate you guys wanting me to brew around enough cards i'm today with 15,000 subscribers and it was is pretty funny to me that even now like when it seems like when i join another me social media platform like when i first started the channel I only had YouTube and that was it. And so it was pretty easy for me to keep up with um, the messages. Now, YouTube, let me tell you right now, if you message me on YouTube, a lot of times it'll get buried. Like it does not notify you when you're messaged on YouTube and it doesn't show you anything. So sometimes I don't click on that message button for weeks and then I'll see people message me. And I'm like, oh man. And you know, I have multiple email accounts that people email me through. I have a Twitter account that I hardly ever use, but I'm going to start get, trying to get better on Twitter. I have a Facebook account. I have a Tumblr account. But the thing that really amused me is I signed up for Puka Trade. And people started emailing me questions on Puka Trade that had nothing to do with, uh, like, Puka Trade had, like, hey, can you check out my tech? And so I'm like, oh no, it's another, another kind of social media platform that I'm going to have to answer questions. So again, I really, really apologize if I can't get to all of them. It is very time consuming to, to, to try to answer everyone's questions, but please, please still do send those. Uh, occasionally, you know, I can give you a whole detailed response. Or a lot of these brews actually started because a fan emailed me a list i know how that's how it was with the um modern deck that i did for playing on a budget the uh restore balance um i've done it with plenty of other decks that's how that's how forbidden orchard got started well forbidden orchard actually got started from tutor's library um but some other some a lot of ideas actually uh hell's lookout one of my favorite decks i've ever brewed uh was a was a user submitted deck and and so keep sending me those and i usually do look at them if i don't respond back please don't take it personal and please don't think i hate you or or i'm, I'm just lazy or whatever but um probably pretty accurate on the lazy part but anyway i appreciate 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 um everything the community has done for me the 15,000 views is awesome the overwhelming support during some tough trials is awesome and the donations have been awesome. I actually received the highest donation I've ever received before. And that was really, really cool. So if you do, let's just talk about that really quick. If you do like the channel, if you do want to see Rogue Deck Builder progress, um, there are plenty of ways that you can, you can help the channel out without donating. One is to, to comment, like, 
uh, of course you're subscribed, but comment, like, and share. You have no idea how much that helps the channel just by commenting. How the algorithm works for YouTube, if they see any interaction, whether even good or bad, so it's funny because dislikes actually help a YouTube video, uh, because it shows um, YouTube that, hey, this, is, this, this video is generating buzz. So if you do dislike a video, what happens is, is YouTube will downrank it in your, your subscriber feed. It will say, oh, you disliked that video. Maybe we won't show you as many videos from this person. If you like this video, oh, we're going to show you more videos from this person. But So that's what one of the things that dislike and like does. The other thing it does is it shows that this is getting activity. And then, then YouTube will kind of promote it up. Um, and say, hey, this controversial video, you should check it out. And then, yeah, and then, and then, so, so it's funny that people think they're, you know, doing you a disservice. Sometimes the, the dislikes are actually really good for a video, just as, as much as a like. But commenting also shows there's activity on the video, and sharing really, really helps the YouTube video. So if you enjoy a YouTube video, share it to your Facebook, share it to Reddit, share it to uh, your Tumblr, your your Twitter, your uh, your blog and and comment on it and it all shows Google that that uh, this is generating a lot of activity it will send more traffic my way every day there are more and more and more and more and more people joining the YouTube scene in the gaming scene especially and it's, it, it really dilutes the value of every youtuber and it's gonna become harder and harder and harder for new people to find um, like my content especially so or even any magic the Gathering content in in general when there's just so many channels out there which is also a good thing we have a lot of awesome up-and-comers for the mtg world so hope that i can continue to collaborate with them i know that i've had some again uh some views that that i'm pretty nervous how it's going to affect the community because uh, i i've kind of seen that, that some of the some of the people that i consider very close friends um, might have very different viewpoints than I do, and I hope I hope it doesn't cause a barrier between us. Because again, I'm the type of people that I I I I hope I'm the type of person that you. I mean, I've had to be. It, I growing up as a minority of a minority of a, of a minority in the state of Utah. You know, if I were to hate everyone that had a very different um, opinion than me, which you know is 95% of my state. Well, actually, it's more like 75% of my state. Um, you know, it, it's an issue that's really close to my heart that I feel like I've been, I've been, and, and I might talk about it again. This will have to be on another channel because I know a lot of my viewers come from California and Utah, and I know that California is a very heavy state for this religion, and so is Utah. And I don't want to disenfranchise everyone, especially my peers. And it is a very hot button issue, so I'll probably avoid it. If I ever do, it will be on that other channel. But um, if I if if I were literally to ostracize and hate everyone that had. Um, that believed in opinion that I felt was 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 bad or wrong or toxic. I literally have no family and very little friends. So I, I've had to grow up being able to disagree with people ideologically and still be very friendly with them and still still see the good in them. You know, the the gray is very the gray is the most important thing. I made another video, decided not to release it because it had some stuff could be misconstrued again. I might release that video. It might be um, outdated. But um, who knows? So if you guys want to see that, let me know. It has another funny story in it about um, a Magic the Gathering thing. So anyway, uh, let me know about what you'd like to see on Rogue Deck Builder. Again, this is a big call to action here. I want more writers. I want you guys to come. We're going to try to figure out a way to, to use or submit decks. We, we're going to go through Tapped Out for now and then show you how to link it. I don't know. What, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to email Tapped Out and see if we can work something out. Because I, I really, really appreciate when he reached out to me about using the software. And it works out great for Tapped Out. I'm going to have to make one here for Amsterdam, I think. Did he, did he put one up? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get a try to get a list up here. Um, yeah, it is. It's right here, so I can easily do it. I'm gonna just copy this and uh. All right, I'll talk to I, I'll talk to uh to Edward and show him exactly how to to get this deck list up on on the Rogue Deck. But I'll just do it for him right now, and and then we'll go for there. You'll have an interactive deck deck list brought to you by TappedOut.net. And again, that's that's we're always looking for partnerships. We're always looking for um people to collaborate with. So. That's that's something in the future. I, I hope that we can get a a sponsor on on MTGO that actually runs a bot that allows you guys just to throw over your draft trash to me. You have no you have no idea how many how much tickets I spend just on bulk rares or, or garbage rares that I actually end up using. Like like I had to buy a wall of limbs the other day. Like wall of limbs, I'm never gonna use. Like it would just use it for one deck. I'm like, oh, that's an interesting card. I want to play it. And yes, it is negligible. But when you're buying 200 of those, 
it adds up. You know, if, if you buy 200 cards for four cents a piece, you know, you're up to eight tickets there. It's, 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 uh, a <laughs> it's, yeah. Anywho, um, we'll get back to playing Magic Get or, or, uh, some, some brews here. I have a Soul Sisters. Um, people keep asking me. I can't believe you guys want more Soul Sisters content. That's half my channel, Soul Sisters. But I obliged and taped you a video series. Um, I, I think Soul Sisters isn't the greatest to run right now, but it's still okay. So anyway, I've rambled on for a while. Uh, again, big shout out to 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 um, Edward. Go subscribe to his channel. He is amazing. You will not be disappointed. And yeah, spread the word. This is Kevin with RogueDeckBuilder.com. Thanks for watching.